wanted to take some time today to walk through the program that we are in right now, where we've been, what we expect when you come up to the summer camp, and then what happens after summer camp. First off, I want to congratulate all the players. You know, when you think about it, we started with about four to 500 players at the district level uh, getting ready to uh, get your district team. And after trials, we cut down to 30 players, the top 30 players in the district, and we went into phase two. Phase two was our skill sessions, which we ran. This gives the district coaches another opportunity to look at the top 30 as they try to get ready to get down to their top 20 players, which is a district team. And so you were a part of that. And then from there, you played some seating games and then you came into the spring festival, which you concluded. And when you came into the spring festival, you were evaluated by the High Performance 15 staff and head coach and then picked to be in the summer camp. So that's quite a significant opportunity that you've uh, gotten yourself into um, being able to be in the top 102. I can't stress enough that you need to take something back from the camp. You know, we'd like to take all 102 of you to the USA Hockey National Development Camp, but the numbers just don't work that way. So, um, it's, but it's important that even if you don't move on, that you take something back from the camp. You're gonna be coached by high school coaches, college coaches, division one and three players who've already gone to college and been through the process. And so this is a great time for you to mentor with them and take something back from them, whether it be the high school coach, the college coach, or the college player, or maybe even a player that you're playing with on your own team. You know, we've got players from all over the state that are playing, so it's important that you do that. You know, we know you're a leader in your community, and we know that you're on the team right now in the 102, but we also know that when you go back, you're gonna be a leader in your community. So it's important for you to do that. So I challenge you to take something out of the summer camp and bring it back. The second thing I like to do is congratulate the parents. You know, this is a long process for you, uh, driving your kids to all the games, all the way through their youth and paying for everything. We really appreciate it at Minnesota Hockey for everything that you've done, uh, having your player go through our process. You're gonna be evaluated on and off the ice. We have a lot of sessions that are held on ice, but we have a lot of sessions that are off ice too. And one of the first expectations is we're gonna expect that everybody, when they get to camp, they're gonna be in shape, have been skating, and it's important to have that done because you're gonna hit the ice right away when you get there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go through the booklet and uh, so you can see what kind of expectations we have and the items that you need to bring up to summer camp. Uh, if you haven't printed off the booklet, this can be found on minnesotahockey.org on the HP 15 page. I would suggest that you print that and then come back into the video. In the handbook, you're going to find your uh, camp director and my number in there. So if you have any questions when we get done, please make sure you contact us. The other thing that I want to touch on is there's some contact information for the residence hall that the players are staying in the uh, Herbrooks National Hockey Center's phone number, and then also campus security. I won't go through the whole handbook today, but there are a few key points that I want to make you aware of. At the bottom of the page is going to be the check-in process, and this is very important. As you can imagine, we can't have uh, all 102 players and our staff checking in at one time. So what I'd like to do is just review through that for you before we move on. Teams check in by their color. Teams are, will be posted on the Minnesota Hockey website, and that's where you'll find your player. Uh, the first thing that happens is our staff checks in at 9 in the morning, and then after that, the goaltenders all check in at 10 o'clock. From that point on, we look at the team color you're at, and that's when you want to come to check in. It's important when you know when you come to check in, you leave all your equipment in the car, only bring in what you're going to put in your dorm room. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the front desk, grab your key, then you're going to go to the Minnesota Hockey Desk. They're going to check you in, give you your ID tag, then you're going to head up to the, uh, into your dorm room, and then at that point if you see any damage, let us know. Then come back down, you'll grab a bo box lunch, and then from there you'll go to check in the arena. There'll be a Minnesota Hockey staff ready there to check you in and put you into the locker room that you're going to be in. It's also important to know the locker room that you're checked in, you'll be in all week, so you won't have to move any equipment once you get in. The players are responsible 
uh, for the dorm rooms and the keys when they get up to St. Cloud State University where the camp is going to be. Once you've checked in the arena, you now become the responsibility of Minnesota hockey. You need to stay with your team. That means not getting into your parents' car. And the reason for this is because when the teams are together, they move as a group. If someone is missing, then everything stops. So parents, please don't offer your son or daughter a ride home from a game and players stay with your team. There's a pro shop in between the two arenas and you'll be able to get skate sharp in there. They also have tape, mouth guards, things like that. Anything else, I would suggest you bring your own equipment, extra sticks, things like that, because they're not equipped to handle those type of requests. It's probably a good idea to bring extra towels uh, as we will have showers in the locker room. So if you want to leave towels down at the National Hockey Center, it's a good idea. Also, um, we do not allow cell phones in any of the meetings. We do not allow cell phones in locker rooms. That is a USA Hockey rule. They'll be confiscated if they're brought into a locker room. With social media, we just cannot have that happening. There will be a player parent summit held at the National Hockey Center on Saturday afternoon. Those presents will be a pro player scout, a player agent, the high performance player development director, College Hockey Inc. representative, and the Minnesota ADM regional manager. Page seven, you'll notice there's a map of the campus. You can also go to their website and download this uh, if you need to have it ahead of time. But again, I wanna remind you that the players should bring this handbook with them when they come to camp because there are a lot of changes that will happen in the schedule. Pages eight through 12 is the daily schedule, so I want you to take a look at that. Players, remember, again, you need to bring that schedule with you because every once in a while we will have changes. You'll also notice on there we have some different classes dealing with how to bring your game to the next level, uh, the NCAA Clearinghouse, things like that we're going to go through too along with uh, the daily stuff that we do on ice. There's also dry land training that we'll go through and uh, so just make sure you have that schedule with you. After the camp is done, um, on Thursday, the players will play games and they need to check out of their dormitories. So if your player has an early game, they're probably going to check out after they play. If they have a later game, they will probably check out before. And then at, when the games are done, at that point in time, that's when you can pick up your player and take them home. Players selected and alternates will be posted on the minnesotahockey.org website 24 hours after the conclusion of camp. We want to make sure pe people are committed to coming to the camp. And again, if you can't, we have alternates that are ready to be called. So let us know so we can get a hold of them right away. Again, congratulations for being selected for this camp. You are going to have a great time at the camp. Um, we really appreciate all the time and effort you put into Minnesota hockey. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you this summer.